this is a neighborhood that was a really early subdivision. It was a, a development in 1911, so there's still a lot of the prehistory of this neighborhood underneath that. Um, I'd seen the pedestrian tunnel, the, the old the old stone pedestrian tunnel that went underneath the railroad tracks, for example. And uh, I thought, I'd really like to know the story of that tunnel. Why is that tunnel there? And what did it connect? And what did people use it for? Um, and uh, we found out in our research for the for the historic signs, for example, that the tunnel was there to allow people on the other side of the tracks to come over to the, to the baseball field to watch games. And the baseball field was built as a, a, a project of the guy who owned the trolley car line. And the trolley car line is the reason that Rundle Street is twice as wide as all the other streets. And people would always ask one question would lead to another, to another. an interesting one. <laughs> it seemed well, I will figure that out. But we did find enough evidence that there was a minor league baseball stadium in the neighborhood. And it, the team existed for a couple of years, changed names, ran another one year, and then that was it. <laughs> but it was at a time when there was a big expansion in baseball. Um, it turns out it coincided with putting the cork in the ball so that it became a quote-unquote live ball. Before that, it was the dead ball era of baseball. <laughs> and this new live ball allowed for home runs and a lot more reaction on the field. The ball would go a lot further when hit. So that generated a lot of excitement. And um, so every town well, not every town, but lots of towns had minor league teams. They were all put up by local sponsors. Fred Racine was the local businessman here. He had a number of um, stores. He sold um, cigars and tobacco, and he had um, soda fountains. And so, like, chocolate, hot chocolate was a big thing. Mm -hmm. and he had several locations throughout downtown Iowa City. And so, he put up the money for the baseball team, and he was hoping to invest and get some return on that. And, um, they were semi-pro, so they weren't exactly totally minors. They weren't in a major league field team, but they were like minors in that they weren't big names. Um, and they uh, had to get paid. At least some of the team players were paid. So. Um, that was where the money went. <laughs> Ticket sales had to offset the money coming in and offset the players' salaries. And then there's some volunteers on the teams. And Iowa City baseball is a fascinating topic that could just go on and mm -hmm. on. But um, that was one marker that we found out that should be marked. You know, we could mark a location. <laughs>